Hello and welcome, Sean Rasmussen here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a Gravatar. A Gravatar is a globally recognized avatar. This is very handy for when you're leaving comments on people's blogs so they can actually see a picture or a face or an image that represents you and then that will tie into your persona and people are much more likely to come and check you out. So let's do it. Simply click sign up. It is important that you use the actual email that you comment with. So when you're leaving a comment on a blog, you use an email to represent your name. So you put in a name and an email and maybe a URL. That email needs to be put in for that to be tied to this particular picture that we're signing up for. This is the Gravatar itself. Now a confirmation email has been sent to that email address. And here it is. And I simply have to click to activate that one. And in here, we got to put in a username and the password for our Gravatar account itself and click sign up. Now I'm through to the stage where I can actually pick an image. So now I'm going to select an image from my hard drive. I'll simply do that by clicking this link here. And I wish to select one from my hard drive. I will browse through to the area where it is and I'll select the one I want and click next. And now I simply pick the area that I want the Gravatar to display so I can zoom it around best way I want. And when I have it the way I want it, I simply click crop and finish. And at this stage, I've got to select a rating of the Gravatar. So the higher you choose, the less likely it is it will show up on blogs. For instance, if my blog was rated PG and you had an R or an X rating on your picture, then it wouldn't show up. So generally it's best to select the lower one as long as it's a clean image. And that's it. Now you can add further images if you want to be able to swap and change. But at that stage, you have now got your avatar installed in gravatar.com. And now when you use that particular email address, most of the time it will be showing up in blogs, providing that they support the Gravatar format. Now what you can also do here is if you are using several emails to comment with, you can actually add an additional email or several emails and attach Gravatars to them too. So you can have three or four different email addresses and still have the same avatar attached to it. So that's a very good idea. I'll notice a few people commenting on my blogs that are using different email addresses and therefore do not have a Gravatar. All you need to do is go and log into your Gravatar account and add the new email address that you're using and attach the image to it. It's that simple. Fantastic. That is how you do Gravatar. I will see you back on the blog.